You want to talk about blockchain advancements, look no further than Dynex. For those of you who don't know, who aren't paying attention, Dynex is quantum computing on the cloud. It is a decentralized network of GPUs which are running simulated quantum networks in order to complete quantum computing tasks for people. They have been growing the number of jobs right here exponentially with many months doubling the previous amount of jobs from the month prior. This month of or October was not quite as job plentiful as September, but it is still massively growing. You can see that exponential curve right there. We're five days into November at the time of recording this video, and they've already had almost 1,800 jobs. There is a series of massive groundbreaking announcements that just happened for Dynex. And I wanna cover some of them here with you guys. I'm not gonna be able to cover everything because what they're doing purely blows my mind. Let's start off with, I think, the biggest announcement that everyone seems to be sleeping on, and that is the launch of the world's first silicon quantum chip at scale. So right now, in order to run a quantum computer, you have to have absolute zero degrees Fahrenheit, Celsius, Kelvin, whatever it is, as close to zero as possible. It's about a quarter of the, the temperature that outer space is in order to run a quantum computer. What Dynex has been doing is running simulated quantum computers so that regular GPUs can be on it. And they actually have 63,000 GPUs right now. I think at the peak, they had something like 200,000 GPUs. It could be even higher. Don't quote me on that one. But still, in network, they have tens of thousands of GPUs. And so what they've been doing is running simulated quantum experiments on your computer. However, now they have launched that they found out a way to do a room temperature quantum chip. And it, they are starting at 1,000 qubits, which is on par with all of the world's supercomputers combined. That's about how powerful this chip is. Okay, a thousand qubits. And that's their starting point for the Apollo mission. Their goal is to scale it up to 1 million qubits with an error rate of 0.001%. It is absolutely mind numbing that they just announced this and it, nobody seems to care at all. I mean, you come look at price, they announced it and price continued to go down. Crazy, crazy world that we live in. Their, their goal is to reach at 25% of the entire quantum computing market by 2034. So about 10 years, it's a decade of a roadmap because this is an emerging sector, an emerging field across all industries. And you can even go even beyond just the chip to see the implications. Well, they currently speaking have launched or about to launch an LLM for quantum computing. So something to host artificial intelligence. And what they're doing is our good friend Yeti, who joins the live streams pretty consistently, Monday through Friday, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, over on YouTube. But Dynex Network to build a human-like brain on blockchain. This was 28 days ago. So they launched an LLM on a quantum network and are trying to simulate a human brain. Talk about artificial intelligence. This is going to be a massive undertaking for the entire world because right now, all of the AI models that we're using are not actually utilizing their full potential because they're built on traditional computers. Once you put it on a quantum computer and it's able to run multiple simulations at the same time, multiple uh, outcomes, multiple probabilistic outcomes at the same exact time, you see the speed of AI and the intelligence of AI grow exponentially, exponentially. Like it's not even, you're just going to have to kind of wait and see because I can't put it into words. The records that Dynex is breaking when it comes to these quantum compute things are set on a scale that is beyond comprehension, like orders of magnitude equivalent to the same number of molecules in the observable universe. But let's Refocus, refocus. Dynex, I want to play a quick little video for you guys. I'm going to have to mute myself really quick in order to play this. Now we are also taking a leapfrog even further by introducing our quantum chip. This is actually a physical hardware. That chip is um, also working in a decentralized environment, but it is physical and is delivering uh, not emulated quantum, but real quantum. This is a kind of a breakthrough, and what we are seeing here today is actually a breaking news. The quantum roadmap we have imagined for the chip goes from next year, 2025, 
We will launch our first one with 1,000 qubits. We're going to go on until 2030, aiming for 1 million qubits. This is really something that none in the world can do right now. And we do truly believe that you're going to hear Dynix over and over again in the same context as IBM, Nvidia, and so on. What makes this chip special beyond that it is running on Dynex technology that has been developed for the past three years? Basically, um, it is running on room temperature. It has a very efficient way uh, and very low error rate. And it is built, of course, with all the Dynex technology that makes it all energy efficient. In cases with regards to industry, etc. All these things have been now put in place. The 50 people are there. We have a very strong team. We have brought a subscription model to the market. We are coming with a chip and we are integrating with nodes further partnerships to alleviate the computation, which is necessary also in AI, putting quantum on AI. And if we take this a further step, then we updated our economic model. We have Dynex, which is the Dynex utility token which is alive since September 2022. We're going to shape, reshape the economic model with a VC round, which is going to support the further growth of Dynex with a 50 million round on strategic investors. We're doing Dynex buybacks to build up the treasury and create or, or maintain and sustain the value of the stored value of this token, which we think will be a great vision for the next 10 years because it is a stored value token. They are doing a 50 million strategic round for VCs into Dynex, the company. And of that, they have announced that they are taking and doing $10 million of buybacks for Dynex. Buybacks totaling over 30% of the current market cap of Dynex. Now, this is going to pan out over the next two years, so don't get too excited yet. However, they are put, coming in and somewhat creating a floor on the token for Dynex because they want a strategic reserve. And so they're going in on the open market and they're doing $10 million of buybacks. That is insane. That is genuinely insane. And recently, I couldn't find the, the post, but they said that they were going to be expediting some of those buybacks because they were going to ramp it up over time, but they feel that right now the token is so grossly misvalued by the market that it is worth ramping up some of those buybacks. So right here, another post from Yurichi. He is a great resource. If you're not following him, definitely follow him. I really appreciate the, the, the things he puts together. But Vitalik Buterin is called quantum computing, the in incentive if nothing else. As you expect me to fade the only project with proven quantum computing technology in the entire market. So Dynex, 10 million dollars of buybacks. This is a great thread put together, but I don't want to read the entire thing for everyone here. They also have just opened up the ability for self-custody on traditional wallets because they did a wrapped Dynex. So you can now trade 0x DNX on Ethereum for through Uniswap swaps. So you can go right onto Uniswap to buy wrapped Dynex and then store it in your wallets so that you don't have to worry about going on a centralized exchange anymore. So opening the door to a lot of people coming in and hopefully onboarding themselves and different companies into the Dynex ecosystem. This like, hopefully you guys are understanding the scope at which I'm talking here when it comes to this quantum chip and $10 million of buybacks and bridging onto Ethereum or wrapping a token and putting it on Ethereum and allowing for the economic incentive model behind the Dynex token to be revisited so that it is more closely linked to the number of jobs and is a store of value for people who are using the ecosystem. It blows my mind the capabilities and what is coming for Dynex. I just hope that you guys are paying attention like me and valuing your time as time is your most valuable asset. Hopefully this was worth investing it into. I'll see you guys in the next video.